very good afternoon to you. Welcome to the West Ham Voice on a Wednesday afternoon. West Ham United have made their second summer transfer signing. Uh, we've all heard this uh, earlier today that Wes Fodringham has become the latest West Ham player. Finally announced, uh, he's our second signing of the summer and he comes in on a two-year deal. Now, uh, is this a good or a bad deal? Uh, there's a lot of fans that are a, a little bit uninspired as to this uh, kind of signing. I, I think with Tim Stiden being uh, called the Pearl, uh, the Pearl Diver, I guess we would have thought, um, or many fans would have thought, that perhaps we would be getting in some, you know, the latest uh, uh, goalkeeper that's out there. But uh, no, we've signed 33-year-old Fodringham. And I'm going to look into his details to determine whether he's a good or a bad deal. Now, if you're new to the channel, please do hit that subscribe button that's down there somewhere. Do please hit the like button. Uh, it doesn't cost you anything to become a subscriber. Uh, all my content is free and it'd be much appreciated. Now, there's been quite a lot of movement, really, with regards to uh, goalkeepers at West Ham. Um, we've had quite a lot of uh, goalies move out of the club uh, over the past, uh, since the end of the season. There was, of course, a uh, 24-year-old Joseph Anang who was our third choice keeper at the club for the past two seasons. Um, he went out on a couple of loans uh, uh, during his spell at West Ham. He graduated through the academy. He first went out on loan in 2021 to Stevenage. Then in the winter of 2022, he was loaned out to uh, the League of Ireland side, St. Patrick's Athletic for six months. And then he got a, a good call. Um, you know, he came back from that early because he got a loan deal at Derby County in the summer of 2022. But unfortunately, an injury during uh, uh, training resulted in him bre breaking his wrist and he returned back to West Ham for recuperation. But it's back at St. Patrick's Athletic that he's now made a permanent move. He signed a two and a half year deal. And guess what? Uh, Anang will be playing European football next season. Yes, uh, St. Patrick's Athletic are in the Europe Europa Conference League. OK, it's the second qualifying round draw, but it's Europe nonetheless. So we wish him well. And then, of course, uh, Nathan Trott, another keeper that uh, developed through the academy, uh, also uh, left uh, on a permanent basis uh, just uh, a week or so ago. 25-year-old Trot has moved um, to uh, FC Copenhagen. The 25-year-old, he, he was um, signed for West Ham United way back in uh, 2016. He had several several loan spells as well. Um, at AFC Wimbledon, French club Nancy, and for the past couple of seasons at Danish club Vajal BK. Now, uh, it is there that he really made a name for himself, helping the club to win promotion into the Danish Superliga and then ensuring that he was instrumental in keeping them in that league, in the Superliga uh, last season with some fine uh, performances. His progress did not go unnoticed. And after recently signing an extended deal at West Ham, FC Copenhagen moved in and bid for the player. He's based, he signed for them uh, for a deal of £1.2 million. And he too will be involved in, a, in, um, in European football next season, again playing in the Europa Conference League. I wish him well as well. So um, West Ham still do have quite a number of decent uh, young uh, goalkeepers uh, at the club uh, in the academy. Um, we've still got uh, Finley Herrick and Andre Abraham in the under-18s, as well as Mason Terry and highly rated Christian Heggy in the under-21s. Now, there's a suggestion that we may try to set up loan deals for some of these goalkeepers to see how they uh, how they do. Uh, Heggie, for example, had loan spells at Stevenage and more recently at Dutch club Den Bosch that he did extremely well at. But let's go back to um, Fodderingham. So what have we got? Fodderingham assigned a two-year deal at West Ham United and it said he's becoming, uh, that he's, quite possibly uh, going to be uh, challenging for the second goalie berth uh, with um, uh, Fabianski. Um, it's, like I said a, a moment ago, it's kind of caused a little bit of concern and confusion amongst the fans as to what direction we're taking. You know, we initially signed a young teenager, Luis Guilherme uh, from Brazilian club uh, Palmeiras, 
And now uh, we've signed 33-year-old Fodringham uh, after uh, he was released from Sheffield United, who were relegated at the end of the season. So there is confusion amongst fans. But is it fair on Fodringham? What sort of record does he have? Is it fair that uh, uh, fans are, are disappointed or uninspired uh, with this signing? Look, last season uh, at Sheffield United, he was conceded something like 79 goals in 30 league appearances. And he only kept one clean sheet in the whole process. But we've got to look at uh, Sheffield United team as a whole and remember just how poor they were defensively last season. It's not just on the goalie for conceding all those goals. And let's not forget our very own Alphonse Areola. He himself conceded 60 goals in all competitions last season. I believe that was, what, the fourth word rec uh, worst record in the Premier League? But not many of us are blaming him alone for conceding all those goals when, in fact, our whole team defended quite badly. Just like Sheffield United, we were almost as bad as they were when it came to defending. The difference between West Ham and Sheffield United was that our attacking play was an awful lot better. We scored an awful lot more goals and managed to get away with conceding so many goals in, in, uh, in so many games. So perhaps we should dig a, a little bit deeper uh, into Fodringham's past to get a better picture of the goalkeeper himself. Because he's played for a number of different clubs throughout his career. But mainly, he's made his name with Swindon, Rangers uh, in Scotland, and more recently, of course, Sheffield United. In total, Fodringham has made uh, 492 appearances for these three clubs, where he kept 166 clean sheets in total. That's just over a clean sheet in every three games. And that's a pretty good ratio. He moved from Rangers to Sheffield United in the summer of 2020, became their first choice keeper in the 21-22 season. In that season, in 36 games that he appeared in, he kept 18 clean sheets. It's a very decent 50% clean sheet success rate. And in 2022-23, his record again was very good, where in the season that Sheffield United won promotion back to the Premier League, Fodringham made 44 appearances in all competitions, keeping 19 clean sheets. That's a clean sheet in one in every two games or just over. So let's be fair. Um, it's also a very good record indeed. So he appears to be overall a pretty decent keeper. Now, as I said, I think he's coming in. He wouldn't come to West Ham United after being, all right, albeit a relegated Premier League side. I can't see him coming in to being a backup, a third choice backup at West Ham. I think he will be competing for that second berth. And I wouldn't be surprised at all surprised if we see Fodringham playing maybe one or two uh, cup games uh, throughout next season. With the likelihood uh, of, of this uh, upcoming season being Fabianski's last, last season, I don't think we're going to see Fabianski sign yet another extended contract. Uh, we're going to need uh, a, a half decent second goalie uh, to be to take that mantle up uh, on a more permanent basis. And with Lopetegui himself, an ex goalie, I dare say he must have much a much better idea of Fodderingham's abilities than we do. Plus, equally as importantly, Fodderingham fills a criteria of being a homegrown player. Um, you know, a player that we've got in on a free, uh, so we can focus our spending on other essential targets. You know, having that homegrown player coming in means it allows us to keep looking in the foreign market for uh, certain players that St uh, Steiden is trying to identify. Amongst one of Fodderingham's, Fodderingham's strengths is his distribution. Uh, something that Fabianski has always been really slow at, and ironically, something that Ariola was once good at, but seems to have progressively gotten worse over the past couple of seasons. And maybe that, along with uh, Fodringham's vast experience and excellent reflex skills, especially on one-on-one -on situations, he's make, maybe it makes him a bit more of an astute signing than we really think. Look, a two-year deal also allows, I've mentioned him a moment ago, a two-year deal also allows someone like Christian Heggie to potentially go out on loan again next season. If he goes out on loan, does really well, then there's no reason why Heggie cannot come back into West Ham United uh, at the end of next season when it looks like Fabianski will be leaving, Heggie becoming our third-choice keeper 
after having hopefully a good season out on loan. So it kind of makes sense. This is kind of progression in a way for, for West Ham. I don't see it as a backward step. I think we need to give Fodderingham a, a, an opportunity to demonstrate what he's capable of doing at West Ham. And uh, he might surprise us all. Look out for more uh, brief updates. Uh, I'll be doing a couple of more over the next uh, few days. So do, like I said, if you're new to the channel, do subscribe to the channel. Please hit that like button and I'll see you all very, very soon.